So one of the big problems with these CAR T cells is they do cause toxicity. Um, what we've shown in our studies is that that can be T cell dose related. Uh, you know, if you have a high tumor burden and you put in a lot of T cells uh, that can see that tumor, they're going to become activated and release molecules called cytokines. These cytokines uh, then activate other, other immune cells and they really develop a cascade of, of inf inflammation in the patient that can be very severe. Um, so we need to really, I think, uh, take a step back and, and understand the pathogenesis of the cytokine release syndrome because it does involve more than just the T cells being activated. That's the primary event, but after that there's activation of other cells and release of other molecules that contribute to the, to the, to the adverse effect. Um, there was really a, a, a beautiful paper um, in Nature just uh, in, in December that actually identified an unexpected molecule that's involved in initiating cytokine release syndrome. It's actually a, adrenaline. Um, and it, that, that no one had actually appreciated that T cells actually make adrenaline, and so do the other cells that they activate. And this really seems to be a very proximal node in propagating uh, the cytokine release syndrome. So there's advances like that that we sort of didn't expect that we're going to be able to, I think, uh, uh, improve our understanding and maybe block CRS at a very early stage. Right now we can treat it effectively um, and I think that the management of patients has gotten much better with early intervention with an anti-IL-6 receptor antibody and with, uh, with dexamethasone, a steroid medication that dampens down cytokine production by, by immune cells. So uh, I, I think we will improve uh, treatment of CRS um, and I, I think that it's going to be very manageable in the future. I would also say that Improved car designs um, are likely to reduce CRS as well. Um, and then I think the other toxicity that we observe, particularly targeting CD19, is neurotoxicity. Um, and uh, we published a paper um, that's provided some insight into the pathogenesis of that. We think it's initiated by the effects of cytokines on the, the blood vessel lining in the brain, the blood-brain barrier that results in disruption of the blood-brain barrier. Um, and again, I think so I would assume that if we improve our treatment of CRS uh, or, or reduce CRS that we're also going to reduce the incidence of neurotoxicity. So um, I think it's at an early stage in terms of a new therapy. Uh, I hearken back to the days of allogeneic stem cell transplant where there was a lot of toxicity and over the years we've, we've really diminished those toxicities so that now most patients can get that treatment safely. And I think you're going to see the same thing with CAR T cells.